The FFL is returning for another great season, and we're using the Carolina Crusaders. Now, it's been a while, but here we're going to have a new format and probably different types of videos here on the channel. Now, this year, like I said, we're picking the Crusaders. That was released on the uh, video I pretty much put out a year ago. Sorry it's been so long. A lot of stuff has been coming up in the way of me making videos but here we are again just to go over the team here we have quarterback ezra star as our team star and we're going to go over the rest of the stars of this team in a little bit the team status is rebuilding they went all in just a few years ago and they're having a lot of trouble trying to recoup from that their new coach is carlos benules who's uh, a famous quarterback who, if you remember, was in the very first season of this channel. And like I said, the overall is a C- minus for the Carolina Crusaders. This is a team I've been wanting to use for many seasons. They're probably one of my favorite teams. Now, Ezra Starr has come down a little bit. He was He's a former three-time MVP in developmental. He's a former three-time MVP in in our main league and he won a championship years and years ago on the bullheads so hopefully he can bring that luck and that skill to the new team and as we start here with the star players we look at like i said quarterback ezra star as the main star for the team and then we look at running back angel akins probably my favorite player in the league I mean, he's a journeyman. He's been on many, many teams in this league. And you've seen him on the channel with the Wolves. You've seen him mid-career during with the Dragons. And now you're going to see him here at the end of his career pretty much with the Carolina Crusaders. There's also Walter Treaton, Ed Council, and Clay Gwynn. But we're going to get into them here in a sec. We're going to start with Ezra Starr. Now, the Crusaders went all in just recently and failed and they had a whole bunch of draft picks in the last i don't know five or six years each year they had three or four draft picks and they all traded them away for big star players and it did not work out they were old they were injured and now veteran quarterback ezra star he's come back from near death and he retired very young from the league and he came back through the developmental system and showed that he is one of the best quarterbacks to ever play in this league. He also helps out other quarterbacks in his training camp that he holds every summer. He found himself and he helps fellow players. He's a true hero to this league. Star it can really help a team uh, focus nowadays, and especially in his hometown of Carolina. It can really help out this team, especially with a young quarterback behind him. He can maybe try to show him the ropes as well. As we cut the bloat to these videos, the next player we're going to go through is Walter Treden. He was one of the best tight ends to ever come out of the developmental system years and years and years ago. He has some of the best hands in the league. He's an okay blocker, but he's almost impossible to cover by the defense. Now, he's been with this team for over a decade and has seen every up and down. Uh, he came to the team right after the famous quarterback, Chris, the franchise young, was the quarterback and he's kind of struggled i think he's getting very upset that they just haven't won but he's one of the best tight ends in the league and we're gonna have to see what he can do especially with a fellow amazing receiver and ed council who is next as we go over this team star wide receiver ed council he's a future hall of fame player it's probably three in a row right here um he's he, uh, he is not loyal to his teams, but very loyal to his quarterbacks. He played with Ezra Starr in his rookie year when they won a championship, but he hasn't been able to get back to that championship in a very long time. When Starr retired, he had another future Hall of Fame quarterback. 
uh, named Al the Thrill Frills. He's currently the backup for the Warthogs, but his son is now a, a new rookie star quarterback as well. But he took that Bullheads team and they played for a while. He then went to the Philadelphia Revolution and really brought up that team for a couple years. But now he's here with Carolina. So hopefully he can bring that success on offense. And now we're looking at Angel Akins. Yet another Hall of Famer added to this league. He has 15 years under his belt and he has still 10 years left in the tank. Angel was never the fastest. He was never the strongest. What he's really good at is A, his stiff arm is spectacular, which he's really learned over the years. And two, his actual ball carrier vision is amazing. He's a former All-Pro. He holds the most yards ever shown on this uh, channel and he will be a future coach he is a spectacular player and that's why he's awesome for any offense he can catch he can run he may not be the fastest or the best playmaker in the world he's a good pass blocker and he can really help younger running backs which in this team he's going to help out the fullback because the fullback will get a lot of rushes out of the split pro formation but now, let's jump to the next player we see here, which is defensive star Clay Gerwin. Now, if that name sounds familiar to you at all, he's another Season 1 star. He was a absolute threat on defense for the Sacramento Wolves for many years. He was the outside cornerback who made so many great interceptions that really brought that team to the championship that they got with Angel Akins and uh, quarterback Neve Watts back in, I believe that's season four. Now, he has lost a lot of his speed. Um, he's still a good tackler. Uh, they mostly put him in the slot because of his tackling, but he has 17 years in the tank. And this will be the end of the star video. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you for being very patient. Um, I know I've been trying to bounce around ideas for new teams and new leagues and such. And I just came back to this and I really fell in love with APF again. So let's get this season started with the next video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.